Mahakwal Huntu Lalush. Hatch make him palalop. Is something wrong? Eh? Ah, be, be. Yambash ma outs janili. Sansa mal hats be leken likikine. Janal dushkin cash tik to luck. Ujintan, tetcha shikin. This jade mask would have been placed on a noble's corpse during his funeral. The artisans were reputedly able to create an almost exact likeness of the wearer. The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This chuspas is a wonderful example, woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. Herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Behlae humpel okol, vale samale humpel kimesaj. That's quite a leap, don't you think? Hach hak tak a wohel tik bash kin tu klik kin tu klike malop kaik much le mehen kisonova kaik bulop tu lakalo a wal guajes yumil bey uyume uah kananil kan vale le tie ma. Hello there. Hey, Tech Ishik. Late Shulul Kolele. Masak? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Woi! Hatch Malov! Yamil! What sort of game are you boys playing? Maba Shali. In Yume Uaka Nanil Kan, Yumkin. Tin chahu kilich chotov, ingwesti in a tailov, jetil tujila, shanak kanan chimali. Letie u yohel, bashel u betik, tenim yum waka, u yohel, tin chah u shotove, lebetike tu pulak te karnalot kakali. Oh, let me see what I can do. Hach hach, ni bolal. Hmm. 
You're welcome. Patiki, le nukuchmakov de la mantats ku toholchin tikonov. Vale te cheta wanton. Basha katik. Shi tenkintan. Basha katik shik. Bey, bash ti helu pachtal. Ek antiket shane. I'm trying to help Kuali. Shan chahech. Sot ushot kintantal. Te aluki mesal. Mishbal ku pachtal ek petik. Sole chimali, lach kanano, upek mech. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Bastin? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Malov, uts! Kupakta la wali ti kuali, ka ujilon te aktuno. Le tie ujohel tushi. Te lo minan sahven silil ti. I will. Konesh! Asto! Raimi! La kinteneshi! Samin, kanant ekpachi. Zoke, shenesh al kabil te aktuno. Patenet patch ishik, jan ek ilik kapach chak akuchul tignal kuali. Chimali, mehenkisin, palitzin kan sokol, janin kaka lo shikech. Bey, ton shanu mehen pimil jama. Al kapnenesh, al kapnenesh. Ogiltan, kat sa saksipil. I love Olan. Chinchi wop. Kink. Your brother told me of your troubles. Mashechtech. Someone who wants to help. Mainkat kauchu le baaloba. Cheninkat katoch chakuyol ina. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Um, malob. Hele shi woba. Al kapnen tuhaji la wol. Ni bolal. I don't have enough space for that. Oya Huyintan, ya antes. Huyintan, un ejemplo luz. Aguajel guabas cubine tectil en los cajas. Ya kunaj, cachile cuyuf pajal de helbish. Uki ibokil uloli le Jamaica. Le kibokil gelo satlekin kim uyicha munuratu. Sairi hachbukaj uyabil magilubao. Gel tuya kashikobe. Umach mahu kabob, mul ubinop te kuchil konolo, le kinob hach, hatsut helbish vehlao, kin wali ke le kuchilobo, kuchan sasil tal, le ken katakobi, mishun tenin wil katul, mak hachu yabil mahu baob, ke shiwa ken tsokok le batel tambalila, kasunaku kibokil ulor le jamaica. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Here. This will help you. Nib ola lishik. Kabil. Mamehen shulubil. Zale baktio. Nah. Yet el chimpol al tile kun kuchu la jawilo. Nib ola l. Yol al tulakal. Nib ola l. The pilgrimage came to a fork of two rivers and decided to settle. They erected two pyramids and began their new lives as protectors of the box.
I don't have enough space for that. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukulkan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action, or Paititi will suffer a tremendous famine. Min Mashane, Yanalbis Janil Tulak al Kachil, Amaru Tutukultak le Tibe Tukimil Sukun, Tinguya Leaka Vil Hokesa, Ukwinkilil Sairi, Teichi le Kashil Lumovo, Matushulu Luyokol, Inguali que le tie su tuk hel kakesha maru, le kat sok tulak al lehelo, tu holbesak paititi, taku kalanticon, vale mabecha jukalantik sairi.
Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. There's the entrance. During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. The threat of the disease held at bay. We soon learned that Lopez had come and gone. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We'd be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact, or this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. We would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. This must be Manco, leading the priestess's ancestors out of Cusco. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Paititians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection.
Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan.
time to move. It should still turn. This rosary has six decades instead of the usual five. A very ornate example of the Brigantine version. There appears to be an engraving, Andreas Lopez. Something's blocking this. to rotate it myself. Dated. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador. Undated. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. 
They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador, to stand guard while we worked on the mechanism. The door began to roll open. Our celebration of success was drastically cut short by the dying screams of Perez. The sound haunts me still. to find a way across. First of December, 1603. A strange noise woke me in the middle of the night. I found Lopez still staring at the fire, though now it was nothing but coals. I asked him if he'd heard the noise as well, but all he did was grunt. I wrapped a blanket about his shoulders and built up the fire again. Then I sat and listened. Far off shrieks and hisses, likely distorted by the twists of the caverns. But underneath all those sounds, I heard a faint thrum. I've heard something like that before, but rarely, and only when in the deepest of prayers, it sounded like the voice of God. 